Hi guys and welcome to this educational video. In this video, I'll be talking about Bajaj FinSafe stock. Okay, so we'll be talking about the analysis. Okay, and please note this video is only for an educational purpose. I'm not asking you to buy or sell or invest in this stock. This is only my educational video. And the point of this video is only to tell my views and only to analyze what it has already happened. Okay, so firstly, let's see how the stock has been performing. So if you guys quickly see here, this stock is down by 1.75% only if you see on year to date data. But if you see six month data, this stock is up by 5%. And if you see one month data, this stock is up by 2%. Okay, and recently this stock has gone up by almost 4% up that is on the previous trading day. So we'll be talking about why it went up like almost 4% up on the previous day and what is the levels it is trading on right now. We'll be doing the multiple time frame analysis as well. So firstly, if you see in one day time frame, the main support of the stocks lies around 1536 as of now. Okay. And the main resistance level is around 1670 yes so as you guys can see here this peak move what it has given around 1670 it has tried to go above that but it couldn't go even on the previous day the day when it went four percent up the levels didn't break so that means that resistance level has been held very very strong here and this support of 1530 to 1540 levels is also very very strong Okay, so this is on one day time frame, but now let's quickly put it to one week time frame and see how the levels are. Okay, so if you put on a higher time frame, you can see exactly how the stock is performing. So this stock is currently is in this kind of bubble right now. I mean, in this kind of range right now. So we are just waiting for this range to give a breakout for the stock to perform in a bullish way okay and if this range gives a breakout the next stop is around this level i'll just quickly mark that level so that you guys can see so let me just take the line towel and mark it here so 1735 is the next resistance line what we have once it gives a breakout around 1670 okay and if we put it in a one month time frame chart you can see here again the highest point what it has made as of now is around 1940 okay so if this 1940 touches that will be the maximum highest point for the latest time okay and here also you can see the main support is around 1248 if you're seeing for a very very long term okay so for short term, if you guys are expecting, you can easily touch the stock to touch till almost like 1,700. 1, okay, so this is how it has been performing currently. And let's talk about the latest news or announcement what we have in Bajaj Finance stocks. And before that, let me show you the live trade what I did on the previous day for the educational purpose. So guys, right now I'm short selling TechM around 1252 to 1251 level in the market level so let's see how the stock will perform today okay so yes i just short sold now and yes according to my study and the strategy i have taken this entry so i guess the stock uh, can be bearish a little bit and it can go up till almost five to six points and i'm planning to take the target up to four or five points so let's see how the stock will perform and guys this is the trade what i did on 28th of march okay so let's see how the stock will perform and as you guys can see here we are trading without any indicators based on my strategy okay so let's see how the stock will perform somewhere around 1246 or 1245 i'll just plan to take my exit okay so let's observe the stock now and see how the momentum is in the stock
So guys, yes, as you guys saw, the stock has nearly made a low of 1245 and the target has been hit and I've taken my exit. So if you guys wish to earn consistent profit like this in intraday trading, you can join my personal and unique intraday trading course today. So in my course, I'll teach you the simple skills to make consistent profit, no complicated things and no indicators. The main goal of my course is to make you as a profitable trader. And with my years and years of experience, I'll be guiding you all the required skill to make you as a profitable trader. And not only that, once you join us, you get everyday live market personal support as well. The course prices are very reasonably priced. You can just message me now on the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen to get in touch with me and to discuss with me. So guys, by being said that, now let's talk about why. It has rose almost 4% up on the previous day, that is on 28th of March 2024. And also let us check out if there is any news or announcement on this stock. Okay. So Bajaj Financial has the latest news that on acquisition. Okay. So this has reference to our intimation dated on 30th January 2024 wherein the company had initiated the Bajaj Financial Health that is BFS Health a only hold subsidiary of a company had on 30th Jan 2024 as entered to a share purchase agreement of 100% equity stake on Vidal Healthcare okay so they made an agreement on 30th Jan 2024 for acquiring 100% stake on Vidal Healthcare and now uh, this acquisition of VHC group as expected to close on or before 31st March. Okay. In this connection, we wish to inform you that since the certain condition for the completion of transaction is underway, the parties have mutually agreed at 1.39 PM today, that is on 29th of March. Okay, to extend the timeline of completion of the acquisition to 30th June 2024. So this acquisition had a deadline of 31st March actually, that is for tomorrow. But now they extended it to 30 June 2024. Okay, so this is the latest announcement and news what we have from Bajaj Financial. Okay, and now let's talk about why it went almost. 4% up on the previous day. That is because we had some news and announcement. Shares of most financial services companies rose on Thursday and led to rally in benchmarks after the RBI modified its alternative investment fund regulation for lenders. So there was a news from RBI. The RBI circular clarifies that lenders only need to provide for the extent of investment in the AIF which is further invested in the debtor company and not to the entire investment. So when this news came in all the finance services stock started going up. Even Bajaj Finance has also gone up and even Bajaj Finance serve is also gone up. So these are the two different stock which you need to see. Okay. So this is the quick analysis and news and updates what I have for these stocks and this is only for educational purpose not a buy or sell recommendation I just informed you what it has performed right now and how it has performed right now okay so again I'm telling you this video is only for educational purpose guys so I hope you guys like this video so do subscribe to my channel for daily updates like this and to get the latest news like this